Today is the first day of my online college. My class starts in 20 minutes and this is how my schedule looks like. I just have two classes on the first day, which is great. By the way, I'm still in bed. Folks, uh, wireless communication principles and practice uh, by Rappaport. Uh, and this is how my timetable looks like for this semester. Hmm. This is 8 a.m. This is 5 p.m. And this is how things have been arranged. I'm done with my first class, so I have a break, and then another class, break, another, another, another class. Things get over at 4 p.m. today. Alright, so I'm done with my first class, and I thought I'll share some of the courses that I took this semester. A few of them are pretty interesting, so I thought let's show you guys. Uh, the first interesting course that I took this semester is called Effective Public Speaking. Um, I am hoping to improve my public speaking skills by attending this class. It has a lot of activities and they'll be teaching us how to present, how to have group discussions, how to have debates. I hope it's a very interactive class. Uh, if not, then I might drop it or swap it with some other class. Second interesting class that I took is called Eco-Criticism. Uh, Eco-Criticism, uh, it teaches you how to critique things in nature. I'm really not sure what that class is meant for. And then the other classes are mostly related to my major, which is Electronics and Communications Engineering. So all of these classes are somehow related to that particular major. I'll just quickly tell you what they are. So these are the electrical courses that I took this semester. Digital Signal Processing, EM Fields and Microengineering, Communication Systems, uh, Mobile Telecom Networks, and then there are a lot of labs. I don't know how labs are going to happen, but I think most of these labs are going to be software based. So I'll have to download MATLAB or one of these softwares and then just, you know, code. Basically, so these aren't like physical labs where you go and build out circuits. Uh, and I think that should be pretty useful, right? Because I can code and do pretty much everything from my laptop itself. So am I happy about the semester? Not at all. This semester is comparatively easier than the last semester. I wish I was at college where I could have hung out with my friends and at the same time had an easy semester. And today during one of the lectures, the professor was like, you need to write a research paper, which was pretty interesting. Uh, so we need to team up and you know read a research paper. He'll give some problem statement. We need to write a research paper on mobile telecom networks. And yeah, hopefully get it published. I'm not sure if I'll be able to publish it, but at least it'll be my first hand experience at research papers. So yeah, that's what's going on in college. I'm really excited about that one course, Effective Public Speaking. If it does not turn out well, then I might drop it. This is how the first day of online college looks like. Had I been in real college, this is how my day would have looked like. been so much more exciting but online college uh, I don't really like it you aren't really meeting your friends you aren't really seeing the teachers you aren't really sitting in a classroom and it gets kind of boring but yeah that's I think that's how this year is gonna pass by next year is gonna be really exciting hopefully the vaccine should be out by next year and I think next year would be something I am looking forward to this semester, let's see how it goes. I'm gonna attend. I'm planning to attend all classes. Also, isn't this surprising? Bitsat hasn't gotten over yet, and we have already a semester started. So I'm not sure when Bitsat is gonna happen, but you guys are gonna have a very delayed semester for sure. And if you're wondering what I'm doing on the side, then I have taken two courses. One is a React course in Udemy, and the second one is a deep learning course on Coursera. Uh, now I'm new to both of these technologies, so I'll just quickly show you how they look like. Uh, this is the React course. It's taken by Andrew Mead. And this is the Neural Nets and Deep Learning course. It's taken by Andrew NG, uh, Kian, Kadan, Frush, Yunis, Ben Sora, Mori. I don't know how to pronounce their names, but yeah, this is what I'm doing on the side. If I don't do anything on the side, then I get really bored. So yeah, this is what I'm doing. And uh, also, by the way, I got Airtel Fibernet because uh, I do a lot of YouTube, I do a lot of uploading, downloading, and plus all of my classes are online. Uh, it gives me a speed of around 50 Mbps and uh, the data is unlimited, so you can do unlimited uploading and downloading and it costs 800 rupees per month. So if you're someone who's, you know, debating between getting a Fibernet or not, then go for it. It's pretty amazing. Your productivity and your speed would improve. Uh, a lot like earlier I used to use mobile data like I used to get get speeds of like 1.5 to 5 mbps but now uh, I get around 50 mbps and that has improved things a lot 
And also I want to tell you guys about something called the GitHub Student Startup Pack. Uh, if you're a student in a college, then I think most probably you should be eligible for this. Not everyone is eligible, but if you're eligible and if you're lucky, then it's one of the best things out there. Uh, so if you uh, are eligible for the GitHub Student Startup Pack, then you get Canva Pro for free for a year. You get Typeform for free. You get Heroku Space. You get AWS Space. You get DigitalOcean credits. So if you are a developer or if you're planning to learn something, then there are tons and tons of free learning resources and a lot of premium things given out for free. So you can go check it out. It's called GitHub Startup Pack. I uh, got it yesterday and uh, until now I've used a couple of services like Typeform and Heroku and Canva Pro. I'm be uploading very frequently because I'm so bored at home and this camera is the only person I can talk to.